Hey, hey, hey. Feel like I'm... I don't know, music like... this. I love making stuff like this. This, this, this vibe is like... Traveling, traveling through the universe. Just kind of cosmic, right? What's up, everybody? Hope you're enjoying your day. I'm still waking up, honestly. I stayed up real late last night working on a remix. That's not what I'm doing today, by the way, but I was up until four in the morning. My wife was like kicking me, like, stop. <laughs> I was into it. Extra coffee for me this morning. Who was first in the chat today? Absent, what's up? 343 in the house. Kriok is here. New Drexian, what's up? Will Joseph or Yosef? Lucky Strups. Martin Crockett. Kevin Murphy, hello. Wispa, Lies Society. Peter Paws. Hey, sorry you have to go soon. Watch it later. Kristen D, welcome. Good morning. Luminous Cloud. Hey, Paul, glad you're here. Tell us all about ADE. I bet that was crazy. And Josh Holiday. Let's get into it. It's already. Six minutes into the show, I should probably stop the intro and say welcome to another Techno Saturdays with me, John Selway on 343TV. Here at the usual time, last week, unfortunately, a little under the weather, didn't make it. Apologies for that. It was good to have a day off, actually. Take care of some family stuff, just rest. And uh, yeah, so we're back this week and lots of things going on. Real busy around here. Lots of classes happening. Thinking about, you know, the schedule for, you know, classes coming up in the future. Next year already. Uh, just got an email. We're going to do another uh, making techno short kind of focused uh, online course. And, uh, you know, it's like six sessions over a couple of weeks. We did it for the first time a little while ago. Not too long ago. Went great. Right. And, uh was really happy with it, so I'm looking forward to doing it again. So something to think about. If you're, uh, if you're interested, those of you who are here regularly and are working on your skills and want to get a little more focused on, uh, on, on your, uh, on your uh, progress, well, you know, and have maybe me help you a little bit in person. Well, not in person, but, you know, personally online. Uh, give it a try. Check out what we've got coming up in terms of all of our courses. There's a link in the description below. And... Um, yeah, what else is going on? A uh, couple of things. You'll remember a couple of weeks ago, I was playing around with that kind of ravey, housey track from the 90s, the Psychedelic Research Lab, uh, Keep on Climbing, right? And I, while I was fooling around with it, I thought, hey, why don't we share? Why don't we share the stems and see if you guys want to play? It's not a contest or like a challenge that you win, right? It's just like, you know, community activity, right? Do it for fun. Do it to polish your skills. Do it to practice. Um, so, yeah. Uh, where is that? There it is. There's the Discord. There's a couple of... Um, this is our Discord here. And there's a couple of channels under Events and Contests. We've got the Keep on Climbing remix. Uh, I made a forum. It looks a little different here. There it is. So you can grab the parts. I'm not going to keep this up forever. I haven't decided. There's no like due date for a mix, but I'm not. the parts aren't going to be up there for very long. So if you want to do it, grab it now. And of course, you have to join our Discord to get this. So again, link in the description, join up if you want to grab these parts. There's some rules to follow here. Read the rules, be respectful, don't share outside, don't share publicly, right? I want to say that really important. This is just, you know, for you guys that are part of the community and we're going to, you know, check them out together, maybe feature some on the stream. Uh, but yeah, no publicly posting, right? No distribution, no anything. The parts belong to me and my pal Scott Richmond. So uh, anyway, there's details about that here in the forum. And the other thing that's going on that we're getting ready for is uh, lag is coming back next week. Um, we're going to do, we did an electro feedback session a little while ago. Now it's time for a techno feedback session where you guys can submit. And there's also a Selway feedback channel here in the, uh, 
in the events and contests area of the Discord server for 343. And it looks like we've already got one, two, three, maybe four submissions. So it's heating up already. We, you got a week to uh, submit something. I can't promise that we're going to feature everybody. I only, I'm only doing an hour, right? We're going to pick a few to do. You know, we'll try to get through as many as we can. But yeah, Lag will come and hang out and we'll listen and talk and give you some, some feedback and some constructive criticism to help you uh, move forward. All right, so yeah, that's what's going on. And I'm uh, Thomas is here in the chat. If you have any questions about what's going on with 343, what's going on with classes, what's going on with the Discord server, any challenges or things like that, he's here and can, can provide answers if I don't catch your uh, question in the chat while I'm fooling around here. Um, speaking of, oh, you know what? A couple other things before we dive in. Um, I wanted to also to point, I've got this coming out imminently. This has been in the works for... It feels like forever. A um, uh, little while back, more than a little while back, uh, DJ Hell, who I've, I've known since the 90s, never, but never worked with him really. Like, well, no, that's not exactly true. Um, but we never made tracks together, right? So one time he was in New York, and uh, this was in, uh, at our old 343 location. We had a, a small studio. And he came over and we came up with this kind of techno slash Italo disco slash space disco kind of track. And we got that is finally coming out. There's a hacker remix, which and the hacker didn't. He, it's funny. He usually, you know, he, he does electro. Right. But he made a very Giorgio Moroder style uh, remix of this, which is great. And then what I played in the, the countdown is my kind of more electro version. Uh, I was. I was kind of inspired by some craftwork stuff, you know, in terms of some, some of the sounds, but generally, you know, it's kind of my, I'm trying to do kind of old school, new school, big space, but also musical kind of electro. So I think that came out pretty well. So that's on pre-order. You can get vinyl. If you go to a, a science cults uh, website here, sciencecult.com, or you can go to their band camp and check that out. It's going to be out real soon. So yeah, check it out. If you're interested, I, I'm really happy with this. This is like, I haven't had like the artwork is amazing. You can see it's like this die cut thing with the colored vinyl, and they did a they do a really good job, uh, Science Cult, with their their uh, vinyl production and artwork. So I'm happy happy to be working with them. This is, a, this is a great opportunity, and also finally after like decades to actually put a record out with Hell, that was also you know nice thing to happen. So check that out. And now that I've got the business out of the way, look, we talked about three four three labs. We talked about the challenge and the the feedback coming up and I'm, I'm marketing this remix to you guys. Uh, let's uh, fool around and make some music today. Um, so I, I, I had this as a possible, you know, uh, last time we were doing some electro stuff, I had this uh, Mace AI plugin kind of loaded up as a possible thing to play around with, but we didn't get to it, uh, right? So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm a bit of a blank slate today. I don't have a whole track ready to go. It's kind of raw. Right, so we'll stumble along. Hopefully, uh, you're cool for uh, going along for the ride with me. But um, we're gonna check out this, and I don't have this uh, installed yet. But this is just kind of a new thing, right? This AI generation for visuals, for text, for everything. Everything is like that's like the thing now is generated AI generated algorithmic creation, and I think it's a great idea for making sounds. Um, all right, so we have TensorPunk doing their version, and then this is coming out. I think November 1st is the release for this uh, emergent drums. You might have seen this. There's some some other people on YouTube and on social media have been featuring playing around with this. I saw Richard Devine did, did a video with this. Um I so I haven't had a, try, a chance to try this one out yet, but um hope to do that maybe another time. But yeah, we're going to play around with this one with with the Mace AI today. And let's just see. Let's just see what happens. How how this might work for kind of a raw electro groove. That's where we're at today. Um, let's just acknowledge the chat a little bit more since I've been talking and talking and not reading what you guys are saying. Who else is, hey, Totaless is here. What's up? What are you guys talking about? Dave Clark is king. Oh, I see. I told, I said, all right. Paul Van Der Werf. Yeah, he's just came back from, from ADE and, and are you humble bragging? He's talking about who he met. Who did you see? Don Diablo, Diplo, John Aquaviva, Dave Clark, Adam Max, Maidon. Yeah, that's quite a cross-section right there. 
Um, great that you were able to get out there and hook up with, with some of those guys. Very cool. And uh, let's see, Luminous Cloud is uh, mentioning this, the new Moog VST. Uh, right, those are their Mooger Fuger, Mooger Fuger. <laughs> <laughs> uh, plugins of those of those uh, effects processors. I haven't checked those out yet. I'm gonna. I definitely want to. I want to do that. They sound really good. The hardware. Let's see. And Peter Paws says he would like to learn how to make techno stabs of the early days, year 2000. Well, that's not very early. I feel like that's the middle days. Um, Stigmata, Lars Klein, Michael Burkott. All right, that's a good request. I'll think about that. Maybe we can do some uh, techno stab sound design one of these days. Take a note of that. And uh, Lucas, welcome. Would love to see uh, wor me working on some 90s, 2000 progressive house. Well, I wasn't, it's kind of a funny thing. There's some techno that I made with Christian Smith back in the day that was a little crossover. It was techno, but a little progressive-y, right? It was melodic in a way. And we were able to kind of ride that line. Like we never crossed fully over into like progressive or progressive trance or progressive house, but I know I you know I kind of know the world a little that world a little bit. Um, I think some of the stuff I you, some of the stuff I do with Christian Smith is a little closer to that. But yeah, maybe that's a maybe. Well, let me think about that. And um, all right, let's fool around with some sounds. Let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at what Tensor Punk is doing with where is my there it is. There's the plugin. Let's take a closer look. And um, I already uh, added a couple of sounds. When you load this up, it's just you've got this grid of empty, empty cells. I mean, or pads, right? Uh, and then on the left, you've got this library of AI-generated. Like I guess these are all different algorithms that have. Uh, I'm guessing. I haven't read all their documentation. I'm just going with sort of, you know. So don't don't take this as gospel. But what it, what I think it is, is that these would be different algorithms that generate a certain. They've been trained on a certain set of sounds. So like the lo-fi kicks is just going to generate variations on uh, those types of kind of dirty acoustic sort of kicks that you would use for like you know hip hop and stuff like that. That's what it sounds like, right? And it's interesting because like all of these, they they sound like they're samples, mostly. They sound like they they're sam edited samples or processed samples of acoustic sounds, or maybe resampled electronic sounds. And I'm guessing that must be because they're training these AI uh, engines on samples, right? And then it's recreating new sounds based on the data, right? And that, that's how it works with the image generation, right? They train it with image libraries. So they've got to be training their AI with uh, like a, a large library of samples. And I think that's pretty cool because, you you know, I've never been a sample library, heavy sample library guy. I, I you know, I do use some acoustic sounds and I do use some, I don't use lots of loops and, and you know, construction kits and things like that and generally like i use samples when i'm record my own audio or i resample audio from a synth or whatever right or as part of an, uh, a process a sound design process but of course every now and then you use you sample sometimes you use drum loops chop those up things like that so it's cool to be able to just not worry about buying a bunch of samples somewhere and just generating a, a sounds in the spot on the spot that maybe nobody else has exactly that sound in that moment. So I, I, I like, <laughs> I like the idea of this. This is a good example of using I, AI, um, not to like make music for you, but to generate material for you to make music with. So that's cool. What does it sound like? Right, so I've got the I got a, a, a 80 it's kind of like an 808 right but noisy dirty and it's got the snap of an 808 but it's got some character and how how does that work right so I'll I'll just pick another let's make another one I'll go here on an empty got to start figuring out where these midi notes are 
All right, there's another one. It's like it's similar, but it's got a little bit of a different tone to it. Um, I think for like making electro and breaks and kind of industrial crunchy kind of percussion for techno, this is gonna this is gonna work really well. And all of the sounds that I'm hearing so far do have this kind of low bit. Uh, they're not like super clean and clear, right? They they're gritty. And I again, I want to like maybe talk to these guys or read the documentation a little bit, but. I th I wonder if like the overall resolution and like sample rate and bit rate and stuff like that maybe it is less because it's doing all this real time calculation. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'm just curious to know. Maybe that's why it has a little bit of it, or is that just because they trained their engines on sounds that were dirty and gritty? Not to say they don't sound good. Just that there's a certain kind of roughness to these sounds. All right. Anyway, if I click this little recycle looking kind of button. Actually, I kind of like that one. I'm going to keep it. So let's add another one. Right? And it just keeps going. Like, if you hear something you like, keep it, because if you click that button again, it's gone. And you may take you a long time to get back to something kind of close to that. All right. Uh, I, I don't know. I guess I should start um, making a beat here. It feels different. I got to tell you, it feels a lot different doing the stream without already having a whole, like, piece of music prepared. There's nothing to fall back on. It's just me talking. And now I got to, like come up with something uh yeah, let's, let's just do it i'll just start making a beat and we'll, we'll go from there i kind of like that industrial sounding cyber snare that it generated and i was thinking about doing a beat that's like um that's kind of more sparse so like not lots and lots of drums happening all the time, but just a couple of weird drum sounds and then having things kind of fill in the middle with effects and other sounds. So I need hi-hats, right? Now it is velocity sensitive right away. That's good. And we have an envelope to shape the, these sounds a little bit. I want this to be a little tighter. Right, just more transient, less. And I'll probably add like a heavier 808 kind of hum underneath that at some point. We can tune them. Come back to that. Oh, that sounds kind of good like that. Now, we also have multiple outputs, which is great because there's no, like, as far as I can see here, there's no built in effects, reverbs, delays, things like that. I want to be able to maybe separate them out without having to duplicate this instance of the plugin a bunch of times. So. I'm going to do the snare on output two. Let's see if, let's see how this works. Let's see if it works the way we want to. We're going to make an audio track here, choose audio from mace, and then choose output two. Perfect. And then set monitor to in. Lies aside, this is a good question. How do we know these are really generated and not just morphed sample bits? I can't answer that question. <laughs> I'm sure the developer can answer that question. Be interesting to hear that. Anybody out there know who has some experience or have looked into this a little bit more deeply? I'm just doing like, this is like a, basically a first impression of the plugin. So again, I haven't like gone and read all the documentation and like learned exactly how, what's under the hood or tried to. 
But yeah, that's a good question, Lie Society. Let's think about that. We'll just and we'll just have to trust them, as Keter Bosch is saying. All right, I, I I need some hi hats. Let's see what we can do. And what I'm gonna actually let's try it like this. I'm gonna actually just put in a put in a bunch of notes. Let's do some sixteenths. I know I wanted it to keep it sparse, but I want I want to fill in some energy here. I can always go back and edit it again later. All right, so I'm just now. Let's see. I'm, I I made the pattern I was thinking of, and uh, you can see that empty pad is being played by that note. So let's throw the hi hats, the closed hi hats. Not bad. Oh, I just realized I was changing the envelope for the wrong instrument. That's a little bit. You got to remember to like, if you want to edit a sound, it, it, since it kind of, it, it always looks the same, same color for each sound. That might be a good upgrade actually in the interface is like making them different colors so you right away know which envelope is which. I would like that. Okay. So, I mean, of course you can read it. You can see, I think a little bit, there's, all right, what are the, what's the visual feedback here? Brackets. You might miss that while you're, while you're like I just did, because I'm streaming and trying to make music at the same time, um, is that there are these little brackets around so you know which one you're editing. Um, that could be more obvious. And doing different colors or even just different shades, if you want it to be monochromatic, might be helpful. All right, so like maybe the ones that are not actively being uh, edited could be a little bit darker, right? That would, be, that would work. All right. Now, what was I saying about being it more sparse? Maybe let's get rid of some. Let's do a little call and response between the drums. I, that was an accident, making the velocity higher, but I like it. Maybe it's a little too much happening every time. Let's duplicate that and only have it happen every other bar. That's okay. I'm just trying to make it like kind of jerky and syncopated. Adding in one of these lower 808 kind of sounds and, and it's hitting with those hi-hats that are accented let's see if that works again with the other one that's accented on a different different uh, syncopated 16th note those could be louder I just accidentally add another note while I was uh, adjusting it. Let's put that in. Thanks, Akshay Sharma. That's a nice comment. Going through these videos instantly makes me want to twiddle my sequencer. That's always one of the goals, right? Getting you guys thinking and trying things and just playing and having fun. All right, that's what I'm trying to do while simultaneously being interesting and engaging on YouTube. All right, I, I just put in a... I, I'm like, I want some music now. I want something to go with these drums to inspire the next step. I could just keep playing with drums, but... I don't know if this is going to work. Let's try. Eh, maybe. I'm not sure about the note. Or if I want it to be... It, I need to subtract again. I need fewer notes. It's too many notes.
I can think about call and response with the drums again. Because, like, you got those double kick drums, Bubba. So maybe I can have the, the bass echo that. Whoa, oh. What just happened? All right. My, uh, looks like my, uh, screen capture just freaked out. All right, let's go back. Let's 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 pause for a second while I fix that. That's really annoying. How's everybody doing? It's it, this is a good time to pause anyway. It's one twenty nine. Um, screen mirroring should be on. That is weird that it just died like that. Unfortunately, hopefully I can fix that without having to do a a be right back. So I am all right. Unplugging the cable. Going. This is dangerous. Unplugging cables while you're streaming. Let's plug that back in and see what happens. All right, so I'm waiting right now. I'm just giving you the play-by-play -play for what's happening. All right, looks like it says it's it says it's going to the screen share. Let's go back and yeah, I don't know what happened. It's supposed to be mirroring to mirror. Okay, here we go. Yes, we win. Okay, we're ready to we're ready to move on. But let's just again, let's just stop for a second. And talk a little bit. So you guys were talking about how do you tell uh, whether it's actual like generated sounds or if it's just a, a tweaked out sample bank. And someone mentioned like, uh, you know, are the are there any p folders in the plugin that have wave files or something, right? And you know, it's a small installer. It's not installing like a big pack of samples. So I think that's that's the first clue. But then like some of these these AI um, Man, there's something funny. Look at this. Do you see like it's not full screening right now? There's something funny going on with my capture card and, and my computer. All right, we won't get too distracted by that, hopefully. Um, there, there, how do you, you know, some of these, uh, these AI things are like connecting to a server and like the server's doing the, the calculation and spitting out the sample. I think that's the case for, um, for the emergent drums. I, I, I I think that's what, what happens is that it's not doing the calculation. It's not taking up your CPU resources to generate the sound. It's actually on a server and, and it's like, it works the way the, the image ones do, right? Where there's like a computer doing all the crunching and you submit it commands and then it does its calculation. And then when it's ready, you download it. I think it's the same thing for these. Um, all right. I have to. I'm trying to fix my uh, my screen again because it's just being terrible today. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Okay. I think I might have to loot th those extra fancy visuals for now. Audio engine is off. Man, you guys are really getting top shelf production here today. Sorry about that. Let's see. Is the music working? All right. I want to keep the momentum going. I'm not going to stop and talk to you guys for too long. Let's try to get some more stuff going on with this groove that I'm working on, and then we'll go back and generate some more sounds. All right, so where were we? I feel better now that there's sound, and you can see what's happening. All right, and we were trying to make this fit with the groove a little better. I think I need to work on that that sound a little bit. Right now I'm kind of, you know, it's more of a percussion sound than a bass sound, really. All right, so one, I need there need to be two bars of this. Because there's a variation in the kick and it doesn't always work. Second half works. Does that work? No. It needs to be less. Really trying to not overdo it. Even here, I think I could take some more away. Let's give it a little musical variation and a little 
typical up and down chromatic. Let's play with the sound a little bit. Am I using a uh, unison here? I need, I wasn't feeling it. I was like, why am I not feeling it? It's too quiet in the studio. I just jacked up the volume. That's making me feel a little bit better now. All right, it's a start. It's a loop, it's a start, it's a vibe. Let's go back and play around with uh, the drums a little more and see what else we can generate that could be interesting. I'm gonna lose the synth for a second. That's an okay kick. Probably when I mix, when I mix this down a little bit, might process it EQ saturated or something I mean it sounds kind of thick and saturated already it's not super dynamic also let's take that hi-hat and put it out on a different output and start playing around with some effects Oop, wrong track What's an easy thing to do that always works? Flanger phaser? Chorus? Let's try chorus. Why not? delay on this. Maybe some space on that snare. Just see how let's see how these AI generated sounds polish up. Let's try, I'm just sticking with easy stuff. I'm not going to any third party plugins. I'm just going for the live. Whoa. <laughs> it's a little heavy to do that all the time. I like it tight too. Maybe we just want something more ambient or something for a percussive sound. Let's try some presets. Sounds okay with that springy kind of sound. I kind of like that as a heavier, more industrial feel with that darker reverb on it. And now that I'm thinking about it, I need another snare. Also, this sound has a, it's, um, it's got sustain, right? It's got it right now. We're not we didn't when we were playing just that short sixteen that we weren't hearing the whole sound. Um, it's got that little thing that sounds like a, it's a noise. It sounds almost like a breath, which I like. And let's make the short ones even shorter. Not sold on the reverb yet. That's a, it's a maybe after hearing it repeating like this. I need a less release. Better. And the dangers of trying out new plugins that are still in development. Live just quit. It's one of those days, guys. Let's go back to the welcome screen while I get my live going again. And well, let's talk a little bit. AI called, it's gonna keep the beat. Yeah, well, as long as it doesn't crash. 
hopefully, um, you know, like I said, this this plugin's still sort of pre-release, early release, under development. They're updating it constantly. I keep getting there's the emails coming out from this developer saying, "Oh, we got an, we just fixed a bug, and oh, we did this, and oh, we did that." So obviously, there's still bugs, um, but that's okay. We're on the bleeding edge of of sound generation, <laughs> AI sound generation. We got to take the take what comes while we uh, see how it works. And um, Supermark says, enjoying the more industrial and grungy feel. Great. Yeah, that's kind of what I think these sounds are good for, whether industrial or not, but just that kind of dirty, grungy vibe to the sounds. Um, um, if it's going to keep crashing like this, I feel like I'm going to have to like start bouncing it to audio right away just so you know in case i don't want to lose it i don't even I, this is another question now that it's crashed are those sounds still going to be there right are those ai generated sounds were they saved in the instance like that's something that that's a good question like they're not it's not a synth that has a bunch of parameters that it can repopulate and like recreate the sound um how is it saving these is it generating audio and saving the audio like I'm not clear on that, but I guess we'll find out. Now, I'm about to hit play. <laughs> it's all gone. So, no, it didn't. It, you could hear it, right? That was the wrong snare sound. I'm going to have to start over again. Well, you know, we've only got 20 minutes to kill, so why not? We'll just make a new beat. That's a shame. All right, so Tensor Punk, I don't know. I don't know if you'll you'll see this, but maybe I'll I'll submit a bug report, and we'll see. Or maybe you guys have an explanation for for what just happened. Um, let's see what else are you guys talking about in the chat here. What's up, Shay? Glad to have you as a first time, and uh, hope things are going well for you out there. And it looks like we've got a few people from Germany. Uh, we've got, as always, a, an international crowd. I mean, you know, techno and electro. It's global, of course, obviously. So really glad that you all are joining from all over the place. And uh, Lie Society is saying, do you have to be connected to the internet all of the time? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I think I, uh, I heard mentioned that Emergent Drums needs an internet connection. I don't know if the TensorPunk is actually like running its algorithm. I mean, if the Mace from TensorPunk is actually running its algorithm locally. Again, I got to read their documentation. Should probably do that before I feature a new plugin next time. Um, let's see. Uh, and thanks again, guys. Uh, Lie Society saying, I love the start with nothing inspirational kind of sessions. Yeah, I don't do it that often. It, it it's actually a little bit more stressful for me when I don't have something on the plate already. But at least you know, and things like this happen, like trying a new plugin and it just crashes live. Um, that's no fun. But uh, all right, let's see. I'm gonna try and get this going again. And again, we have to we have to start the uh, the beat over. So let's let's see how Mace does in like creating. Uh, new sounds right to fit the groove that i have now so i already know when i load this up well i forgot to mention also i put like a a drum bus after it just to kind of shiny it up a little bit do a little saturation and but it's not really doing that much right now it's just basically saturation um so i don't like that snare let's Let's see how, how long it takes. That one's acceptable. I'm going to leave it for now. Right, and then we have the, the short one and a long one because of the, the release. Let's go down to this one. And uh, there's an actually a electro kit that you can use to generate multiple different types of sounds. That was supposed to be, that's supposed to be the boom, the 808 boom kind of one. So actually, I'm going to go, I think I might get that more dark, thump, thumpy kind of thing from the, the, low, the 
the lo-fi kick. Although, that's cool because it's kind of glitchy and dirty. There's the 808. I'm gonna try to find one with a little more character. You can also tune these. I wonder what this would sound like. This one's a little high. What if it, I... Okay, it's sort of noisy and hollow, this one. Let's go back to the electro kit again and try to get a short punchy. Whoa, that's brutal. All right, I like that. I want to, I have an idea for that. I'm gonna take this more 808 kind of one, send that to another output. Every, the mix is all messed up now. I don't need a, a reverb on that. Let's put the snare drum on something. All right, that's a happy accident. That was the flanger that was on in the delay that were on the hi-hats before. Now it's on the snare. I'm going to leave it. Because it sounds trippy and cool but what i wanted to do for this is just put a real tight 16th note delay on it maybe with some comb filtering maybe some offsetting the uh offsetting the left and right i don't know let's see what happens something like that delay is your friend always Your kick drums want stereo separation on the delays? I don't care. It sounds cool. Not totally sold on the 808 kind of one. It's a little too noisy, distorted, and like it's like in a ring, uh, ringy kind of way, like a sample rate reduction kind of way. Let's try some hi hats again. I actually kind of like it better now than before. It's a little more atmospheric and rolling feeling, especially with the, the delay on the snare and the flanger on the snare. Very noisy. Let's figure out what we can do for a hi-hat. Cyber symbols? What are cyber symbols? Sounds like a shaker. Is that cybery enough? Doesn't really sound like cyber to me. Sounds like weird, noisy, high frequency percussion. That's kind of more cybery. That sounds zappy. All right, it's really, especially plus the effects. I mean, this is, you know, this is the whole point of this episode was what is this plugin good for? It's definitely good for this like grungy, industrial kind of, yeah. I, I, I like it. I like it. Like whatever this wavetable synth is doing is like not even important right now. I almost want it to be like less bassy and more like higher. I don't know what's going to happen. It sounds almost too clean. I want it to be like more weird and let's do high pass or band pass and just tweaky. No, that's not it. That is not gonna work. This is gonna take some time. Like I need a much more complex sound. I'm thinking of something more like noisy. Uh, hmm. All right, maybe forget I said that. Although that, just cutting all the lows out. All right, I want to... 
Less is more. Maybe I only want those little pockets. All right, the hi-hat and the kicks are mixed together. Let's not do that. I better remember to save this in case it crashes again. Yeah, I like it better. Dark. Now I need another track for the hi-hats. I'll just move this one over. We want... Mace, and we want four, and... One fifty. I would even maybe take this a step further, and... It did it again! Oh my god. It's back. That's really annoying. <laughs> Something's going on with my screen here. Less is more. I did say I did say earlier I wanted it to be more sparse and not have things repeating too much and having space to some space, right? So just having that only happen sometimes. And that'll leave space for another element. If I ease up on this, that also, the echo on the snare takes up a lot of space, as much as I like it. All right, that's better. I'm trying to keep it, keep it sculpted. Let's see what else we can do. I'm, you know what I'm going to do in case it crashes again when I keep adding new sounds? I'm going to hit save right now. Let's see how that works. Let's see if saving it makes a difference if it crashes. I mean, hopefully it won't crash again. But I'll, I'll know if I, like, save this and then, like, quit and then open it up again and they're gone. Like, that, that would be a learning process. Here's another thing. If I add more sounds to the main instance, it's going to be going through that delay and that drum bus. And maybe, maybe this should be going to its own output as well. And then I'll move those effects over. And then I can go back. That's, that's probably a better workflow. If I'm separating out these sounds and adding effects to them, and then I add new ones on the main track, they'll be dry. And I'll know, okay, that's what we're going to do. So track five now. Choosing. That should be it. Actually, let's take that drum bus and that I'll leave the, that's now it's on everything. So it's not silly me. All right, let's group these and then put this on the group and then it's on everything. All of those separate tracks are now like, it, it's kind of like live's drum rack. You have like each track on each drum on its own chain and then that all gets combined into the audio track and that you can put effects on. And that's kind of what my structure is here. There we go. That snare takes up a lot of room, doesn't it? Probably need some EQ and stuff. All right, so let's try again. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get rid of the uh, the wavetable little stabby thing and see what else we can get out of this mace before we run out of time. Metal Foley. That's gonna be weird. Foley shots. Cyber synths. That could be interesting. Glitch errors. Maybe for some weird little blippy kind of sounds. Let's try that. Let's put a, a cyber sound. Hey, who was asking for techno stabs? <laughs> uh, that's all you got to do. 
for uh, dirty, noisy, early 2000 stabs. Uh, probably this is going to do it. Uh, what note was that? None of those. There you go. Not, not terrible. All right, I'm gonna move that one over. See, it, save it on another cell or whatever, and let's try another one. Cyber vocals too. Ah, uh. that sounds like a snare with a weird noise in it. That's cool. What is what? Is, what are they training their AI on? These are ridiculous. It's like they're all kind of tuned the same. Like, it's that same note. That's nutty. I like that. All right, let's give it its own, its own track. And, um, also, I don't want it maybe to happen every two bars. Let's duplicate this and have it only happen. Whoa, we got to remember to that's ridiculous. It's more uh, machine-like audio track. Mace. Oh. And track six, I think we're on now. Yeah. I don't know if I like it longer or shorter. How does it work with the wavetable? Yeah, why not? I keep wanting to add delays to things in this track. I'm going to end up with too much delay on everything, but this one I felt like I wanted to echo out as well. I don't know. Let's just try some kind of whatever echo preset and see if something interesting happens. All right, maybe something faster. No. Noisy? Whoa, a little noisy. We can get rid of that under character. I don't need that. I don't mind the rising flanger. Okay. All right. I feel like I got a good groove going. I can bring this back maybe another day and we'll keep working on it. I noticed some questions and comments. Let's go back and check on the chat a little bit. And uh, Shay asks, and you know, this is an interesting question because we were, weren't we just talking about this a little earlier? Shay is asking, is there any chance that you give feedback for my track or loop? You can do it live and make fun of me, no problem. Well, as mentioned earlier, over on our Discord, you can join our Discord in the link below. 343 Labs has a Discord. And if you go here and you look under events and contests, there's Solway Feedback. So whatever you want uh, to get feedback on. Next week, November 5th, I've got Lag, very good producer, been on the show before showing us his workflow in Reason, which, and I learned some things about Reason that I didn't know that I was really impressed with. Um, Anyway, he's going to join me, and we're going to check out your submissions. Um, not everybody's, depending on the number that come in over the next week. But um, yeah, Shay, that's your chance. Send in something here. Join the Discord server. Go to this uh, Selway Feedback channel and put up a SoundCloud link or something. And, uh, you know, all goes well, and we have the, the time and the 
we'll, we'll get, hopefully we'll get to you. Um, that said, even if you don't, I would encourage all of you, right, as you guys are posting here in the Selway Feedback, talk to each other. Like, give each other feedback, right? Encourage each other. Uh, keep, you know, be positive, right? If you don't like something, be nice about it. But that said, like, constructive criticism is what we like is where you you know what i always do is start with what's good and what's working and then move on to what could be better right that's usually the the, the way we do it in class here at 343 when we're looking at students work and we're doing feedback in, the, in, in during their courses and in private lessons right and that's how i like to do it when we're you know we're not we're not going to sit here and just say oh great track next right or whatever next like we're going to get into some details as the time allows and try to give you uh some ideas to work with, right? So yeah, that was that's good. So hopefully you'll join in, Shay, and all of you uh, who are working on, you know, improving your techno production skills. This is a techno feedback session, right? We're gonna do another electro feedback session soon. Um, and then also while you're here, I'll just mention again, in addition to this, uh, to the feedback thing we're doing, there is a keep on climbing psychedelic research lab keep on climbing remix activity i'm not going to say it's a it's not a contest or a challenge because there's no reward at the end other than uh being a part of it and enjoying yourself and having fun practicing your skills and you know something we're just going to do right so no pressure there except eventually um you know I haven't decided how long I'm going to leave these up. So don't be surprised if they disappear in, in a few days or in a week or something. So if you want these parts, get, get them now. They're not going to be there forever. And um, let's see. What else is going on in the chats? Getting some, some, some good comments about the plugin and uh, some demo videos about this plugin. Definitely need to do that. Yeah, it's funny. I'm really, again, first impression, kind of diving in to using this uh, this AI drum generation thing without really researching it. I just thought, hey, that's cool. Let's try it. And I like it so far, other than the crash. And I do, if there's, there's probably some features that I'm missing, there's probably things you can do uh, to like kind of refine what you're, what you're getting out of it. And that would be good to know. So I will do that. And uh, <laughs> Silver Knobs, what's up? Uh, too loud, add some reverb, please. Yes, I agree. Definitely, you know, some of these sounds, they're harsh in this plugin. And uh, you, you need to, yeah, that, that's another thing I learned from, from, doing, from going through this today is it's so raw, right? It's got this kind of crunchiness to it. And, you know, you want to polish them up a little bit. You want to EQ them. You want to add some effects. You want to, like, add some space for sure. But that goes with any situation, right? I mean, okay, depending on your style of production, but almost always, you know, when you're combining a bunch of sounds together that were not generally already designed to fit together, like it's not some kind of construction kit where everything's already mixed sort of for you. When you're working with samples or AI generated sounds that sounds like samples, you need to adjust them and make them fit together and fit your groove and fit your vibe. So, I think we did all right today, considering the technical issue and, and my screen getting a little bit weird. Thanks to everybody for hanging out today. Uh, and, you know, I managed to get a good beat out of it. That's always a plus. And we went over, you know, we got the feedback coming up. We went over that a couple times, so you know what's going on. And uh, hope to see a few of you... Uh, next week with some interesting tracks to check out with lag and that's it for today thanks again have a good week see you later